Length of an eruption, again, is one of those that, that varies dramatically. I mean, can they be very, very quick? Yeah, yeah, sure. You can get cinder cones like Paracutin, which erupted in Mexico in, in the 1940s, where literally a crack opened up in a, in a cornfield, and within a couple of months, there was a 3,000-foot cone that had formed. So very, very quickly. The, didn't do much for the guy's crop. Um, but you know, you can, you can have something like that. Two, you can have it occurring over a, a period of years or even decades where there'll be a slow buildup of the magma below the surface and a slow buildup of the seismic activity and gas release and so on. And then maybe eventually you'll have a small eruption in some form or another. So again, the time frame there is, has a lot of variation in it. And unfortunately, we don't have good predictors for that. Uh, just like earthquakes, volcanoes are one of those that they occur when they occur. And we're very good at observing these events. We're not very good yet at predicting these events because we haven't found the keys to what tells us this is going to happen. Is there something every single time that occurs that says, yes, within X amount of time, there will be an eruption? We haven't found that yet. And that may not exist. We just don't know.